Howdy boys! So as we've seen today, we're going to be customizing the Imponte Ruiner ZZ8, which is based off of the Pontiac Trans Am Gen 4. It could also be based off of the Pontiac Firebird from the 90s. Regardless, I think it's a fantastic looking vehicle. I'm personally a big fan of these. Uh, I've always been since... I Ever since I was a little kid, I've seen them on the street and I, I just thought they looked so cool. It was like this and the and the Lamborghini Diablo. Those are the two like, oh my God, this car is so like unique looking, you know? It's so, so much cooler than the rest of the cars on the street. So we're gonna make it look nice and pretty. First up, we're gonna do our armor and brakes. And then for our splitters, wow, wow, I don't like that. Oh my God, it's Crimson Chin. Yeah, definitely don't want to race it out i think i just like something subtle that doesn't look too bad not sure how i feel about the carbon piece up there though i don't know it kind of ruins the shape low key okay let's check out the rear bumpers first maybe that'll give us some clues as to what we should do for the front uh that gets so so angular oh my god uh maybe maybe that carbon one looks nice or just the primary. I feel like we don't need a lot of carbon accenting on this car, but that kind of comes down to whatever else we can throw onto it. You know what? Let's come back to the bumpers. I really, I don't have an idea of what I want to do for this yet. Holy, those exa- Oh my God, there's a quad exit like that? That looks really cool. Although I am kind of liking the, the flat one a little bit more, like this one. The titanium but i think probably keep it in black keep it hidden blended into the back because i'm probably gonna go with carbon right there for a hood uh that is a very strange that is very strange i don't know how to feel about that ew ew bro oh no okay it oh it's definitely it, it needs these it needs these these giant i don't know what those are intakes oh my god but i have nightmares I think the vented version does look pretty cool. Not the GT one though. Boom, there we go. Lights, cause this is an older car, I'm gonna keep them stock. A livery, you have tribal flames. Okay, nice, firebird. Got some, some nice, well-placed stripes actually. Well-placed. Mm, I think I wanna keep it something, something more simple. Oh, I don't know, man. Do we, do we want decals? We could go with, we could maybe go with like the red, flames are cheesy i uh i'm struggling we're gonna do the color first and i, I i'm pretty sure i know what i want to do already i think this car it just looks the best in well, the gasoline green actually does look quite nice but i'm gonna say the best in red maybe we'll make it like a classic a classic red or no we'll, we'll go to metallic and then we'll just do like a formula red i think that looks nice and then we can play around with the pearlescent a little bit I don't really like the goldish, like yellowish pearlescent that comes on the standard red. We'll come back to the pearlescent. I can't figure that part out either. The secondary color, we can make that, well, it's black right now. We might just want to match that and make it one color. So we're going to go with a formula red so that the pearlescent doesn't cause us any problems. Although it is kind of heavy. Maybe if we give it like a darker shine. Cabernet, is that too dark? Maybe garnet red. Okay. So then it's still got the red polish, but not as heavy. For a roof, okay, we can change the color of this, this pillar back here. I think it looks the best in red. And then for the, oh, that was the roof pillar. For the actual roof, we could keep it glass, we could open it up, we could do carbon on those panels right there, which actually does not look too shabby. Or we can keep it open with the windows. Unless we add carbon on the front section, then it would match a little bit better, but I just really like it open with the windows. So I think we're gonna leave that for now. For our skirts, customization in this is so weird. Uh, this one looks pretty nice, I guess. Primary GT skirt. Fits nicely. I don't like the, the wing that sticks out. And then the ridged one is kind of odd. There's no like standard one. This is the most standard I can go. Actually, I like the vented variant of that. Sun strips. We can add, but because we left it black on the top, I think it's better that we avoid one. For our spoiler, Oh my god. We have to add a second spoiler, bruh. No. I'm gonna go with the secondary stock spoiler. Just, oh man. Just so that I can keep it one color. But Jesus Christ, dude. These, why? Oh, two spoilers. Suspension, we're gonna lower that to street suspension. Transmission, max it out. Trunk, we can make that carbon. But I, I don't know. It looks like a really anxious raccoon so I, <laughs> I think we're gonna skip out on that turbo tuned 
Uh, and then before we go to the wheels, I do want to go back to the bumpers because we didn't touch that one yet. We definitely could add some carbon onto the vehicle. I don't know. I just don't think these are very good options. This car just has such bad customization options. Like this, it makes it look like an insect. I'm not driving an ant. I think I just don't want to throw one on. We're going to keep it simple for, for the front bumper. For the rear diffuser, I will, I will make that one carbon. I think that looks nice. Uh, maybe we can add some of the vents on the side too. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm still happy with the black exhaust in the back. For our wheels, I think crackers would be mean. I'd be so mean looking. Maybe even like six gun also. Man, that's a slept on rim. Mercenary, no. I like I like the crackers a lot. I think crackers are such a good looking muscle rim. We're just gonna black this out, make it nice and simple. Bulletproof those tires, tire smoke. We'll leave classic as well. Windows, we'll light smoke them. Actually, we'll dark smoke them. I feel like the limo tint makes, it's like such a huge distinction from the roof. It looks a little odd. Uh, dark smoke kind of blends in a little bit better. And then we have to revisit the livery. So here are our tribal flames. There's the firebird. Oh, okay. It actually looks quite nice with the stripes. Maybe not the flames on the side. Looks kind of cool. Flame decals are cheesy, but it it's just got the red two-tone. It looks so nice. Uh, this one looks sick. Yogarishima. But we have the red pearlescent, so I kind of don't want to go for this because it messes up the look a little bit, making it into a race car. Not bad. Definitely not bad. I don't hate this. Oh, this is more of like a, a tuner style kind of. This is race car. This one's more like a tuner. You know, I think I just like the simple stripes in white. I think it looks so good in white, even though black would, would uh, match the colors a little bit more. I think I like it in white. And then we keep our plate white as well. Man, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, what about our rims? If we if we make them white, would that look better? The answer is no. Okay. Well, I'm happy with this. Let's take it out. Well, it is a very mean sounding vehicle, very intimidating. I think it's a little bit overboard considering it's it's not that great of a vehicle, unfortunately. But man, this is a cool car. I feel like I'm driving a missile. And did you see that wheelie? Dude, oh, we gotta do that again. We gotta do that again. Cause that, that's disgusting. Line it up right here. That wheelie lasted for so long. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, round two. Dude, that wheelie is crazy. Oh man, that's so sick. Oh my God, this vehicle is just drip. It's just drip, that's how I see it. Anyways, we all know this vehicle looks good, but onto the performance. Unfortunately, it's not a very fast car. It's got a top speed of 116 miles an hour and within the muscles class, it is around the top 10, depending on what platform you're playing on. It's just not all that fast. It's kind of, I don't think it feels terrible to drive or anything. It actually has quite good handling for a muscle car. It's just, it's just not that fast. Like there, there's no other, there's no workarounds or anything. It's just Rockstar just didn't give it that great of stats. So uh, it's acceleration off the line, you know, standard muscle car stuff, not that fast. And 10th is like not bad either, you know, or hovering around there. Cause there's, there's a good amount of muscle cars in the game, but it's just, the STX is just way too fast for this thing. So it's, it's not viable for racing, but I do really enjoy driving this car. It's handling isn't too fragile for a muscle car and it looks cool and it, it's got a killer wheelie that that's enough for me. Honestly, I'm sold. And if you guys are looking to grab a Ruiner ZZ8, you can find it under the two door section of Southern San Andreas for $1.32 million. Is this vehicle worth your money? If you like the way it looks, like that's that's pretty much it because it's not like you have to debate on whether the handling is good, the acceleration is good. It's not great, great, but it's not bad. You know, it's, it's definitely something that could be used as a daily driver and I'm sure you would enjoy yourself. The customization I will say is a little bit weird, but you know, Mine turned out looking really good, so I'm sure you guys all can too. I don't think $1.32 million is crazy over the top. I actually just realized that this is part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC and not the tuners, because I thought it was a tuner car, but uh... If you're a fan of the Pontiac Firebird or Trans Am, $1.3 million will be very well spent, and I think it's a really good price for this car as a package. 
That, my friends, is going to wrap it up for this customization. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below and let me know what you thought about my build and what you think about the Ruiner's Easy Gate. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. There will be more videos like this coming out in the very near future. And that's about it. So take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.